Neil Patel here. Thank you for downloading the latest episode of the Indian Stand Up Show. Uh, today I chat to Janelle Patel. She's the co-founder of W Square. It's a women-only co-working space in China, which is a first for India. Talk about how she got started, why she's doing this, plans for future, which includes starting an incubator and creating a really cool marketplace where home-based entrepreneurs can showcase their products and much, much, much more. So please enjoy the show. Next week, I will do a best of the Indian Stand Up Show featuring all your best moments from the past year. It's not to be missed. Thank you. Hello, Gino. Uh, thank you for coming on the Indian Startup Show today. Hi, it's indeed a pleasure to be on your show. Excellent. Thank uh, you. Excellent. Uh, if you can please tell the listeners uh, what you do. So uh, basically, I um, run a co-working space for women mm -hmm. uh, called W Square, mm -hmm. uh, the workplace for her. We're located in Chennai, mm -hmm. India, and um, it's basically uh, to encourage women to, you know, get back to work if in case they've taken a break um, from working because of their kids or, you know, even uh, looking out for a place to work out from which is cost effective at the same time benefits them by providing like a network or opportunities so that's something that uh, w squared is all about like an ecosystem for women ecosystem excellent and how, how did this get started uh, so we started this on uh, March 8th wow. of 2017 mm -hmm. and um, the journey um, has been you know a fabulous where the core concept of us making sure that women get a space, um, a, a place that they can comfortably, you know, uh, bring their talents out or do what they want to do mm -hmm. is something that is being achieved. And uh, basically, this concept has come out from our own personal experience, mm -hmm. where um, as when you're a startup, when you're looking at to do something on your own, you'll be either working out of coffee shops, save up on that rent or you know, uh, maybe work from home because you find that to be a major cost cut, um, you know. So therefore, we thought that why not have a place where your productivity is much better than you working from a coffee shop or from home. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, get that extra push by meeting other women who are doing different things, uh, opens your uh, horizon to know much more than just what you have mm -hmm. with you. You, you must have drank a lot of coffee then uh, definitely yes uh, a lot of coffee a lot of food well of course all of that has like a side effect on you where you know you're constantly yeah, definitely uh, but nothing like um, you know meeting other like-minded people or you know sharing your thoughts and making new friends and uh, it's always about um, coexisting and co-living and therefore we see that women um especially helping other women out is something that everybody talks about saying hey uh, no two women can work together or you know those usual taboos or statements people make but well, w square is uh, truly breaking all of that so, so you started in march uh, last year uh, can you share some stats uh, yeah. how, how many people are using the facility etc um, so uh, our occupancy is we have a 30 seater occupancy um, uh, and um, Basically, we have about 50% uh, which has been uh, currently used by different um, individual entrepreneurs, by teams. We also have a workshop space where, you know, um, women today are seen to do, uh, uh, you know, uh, feature their own talents right from, you know, uh, having any products to be created like soaps or uh, jewelry or anything like that. So they basically take up the space and... Uh, feature and teach other women uh, what they're good at uh, we also have something called the marketplace for her where we convert the entire uh, workspace over the weekend into a marketplace where home-based entrepreneurs feature their uh, products so a lot of home bakers a lot of organic uh, uh, products or you know different things mm -hmm. but women entrepreneur usually do selling from home so we're kind of giving them the space and opportunity to market themselves meet new people and take them to like the next level uh, through this marketplace initiative mm -hmm. okay and what's the goal for the next two years then uh, what what are the aims and objectives would you say 
um for the next two years well we are we've identified uh, women in different segments mm-hmm. uh, so one is we we're coming up we have an incubation program which is called the incubate mm-hmm. uh, something that we're rolling out um, now in 2018 where we're catering to one students um young uh, startups mm-hmm. who are looking at a direction of how do you how do you you know market or how do you brand yourself how do you make your idea big mm-hmm. or you know how do you uh, connect or reach an investor or you know all of that so we basically train and mold them mm-hmm. uh, to getting that opportunity second we are uh, of course encouraging entrepreneurs themselves who um, you know conducting different training programs or of mentorship uh, one to one consultation and uh, we're also looking at to help women who are looking out for jobs to get back to work mm-hmm. so we've created an app called the w connect okay uh, yes so the app is basically something where uh you know they can just fill in their details and then we've tied up with a few uh, recruitment agencies and uh, corporates who get back uh, you know with their requirement and then we kind of filter them out mm-hmm. and give them the um, opportunity to if you know get selected to have their interviews and things like that so this is roughly where we stand okay what were the early days like um you know how, how long did it take you to get your first customers on board Well um for us in Chennai it's a very traditional city yeah. so the concept in itself is very different for them to really understand mm-hmm. so initially we had that little difficulty of explaining what co-working actually means mm-hmm. unlike other cities yeah. especially the women mm-hmm. they weren't really aware of what co-working as a concept is so we literally went out to uh, educating mm-hmm. women even now i wouldn't say that we've completely uh, you know mastered that task it's constantly uh, something that we're still doing mm-hmm. educating them but yes the minute people get to know about what we actually do and stand therefore you know it makes it more easy for them to uh, you know join us mm-hmm. or also refer us or you know explain to their friends of what this actually is okay do have you had any criticism about what you're doing um well criticism not really because like i mentioned earlier um uh, it was more about educating women on the concept mm-hmm. but yes of course you always have a few people asking that question saying oh why is it only for women and you know why are you uh you know not including the men in your uh co-working space mm-hmm. unlike any other working space so basically we understood that you know women need a uh, certain extra attention towards small details right mm-hmm. from basic points like you know uh, post maternity it's 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 a different experience for a mother mm-hmm. to you know get back to work to have the you know their child come along so basically we've made sure that we have a daycare as well in our space itself mm-hmm. so that the mother is comfortable to bring her child along at the same time pursue her dream on you know keep working mm-hmm. uh, also you know we have seen that a lot of people do you know raise that question of oh how because uh, both of the founders that is vandana and myself we two women who have started this firm so therefore they're like oh how are two women working together mm-hmm. i mean aren't there any rifts between both of you or how is it that you're taking your business to the next level mm-hmm. so these are these are basic questions but i don't think it really affects you because till you're passionate about what you're doing and you know and you see that women um are really appreciating and are very thankful of what we're doing and they feel they you know they're getting some value out of this mm-hmm. and you know it just keeps us moving forward absolutely, absolutely. Uh, how did you guys meet then um so vandana and myself we um Olya used to work within um ad agency that's where we met and we also run a digital marketing agency something we started about 3 years ago so basically we used to sit in coffee shops and when our clients used to ask us hey could we you know meet in your office that's when the big question arised of okay now i think it's time we should get a space and when we got to do the research of how much it would actually cost and uh, you know wondering if we should invest on like getting systems or hiring employees or do we spend on the down payment of the space mm-hmm. that's when we understood that you know like us there would be so many other startups who have that tight budget but who know that they could actually uh, do something 
bigger and better. Mm-hmm. But you know, the finances. Okay, so can you give me some examples of businesses that are using your workspace, please? Sure. Uh, for us here at W Square, we have seen different uh, entrepreneurs, you know, uh, use our space and facility. One, we have someone who does something very unique. Uh, it's actually paper flowers. Mm-hmm. So basically, she believes in the fact that, you know, uh, flower arrangements in hotels, restaurants, everything fade away after like a day or two. Mm-hmm. But something where it's uh, handmade is something that would last longer and looks beautiful so we have um, an entrepreneur who features that Uh, we also have a lot of um, uh, people who take up their stalls and you know run like boutiques uh, where they rent up a space for about 15 days to just display their uh, you know products out Uh, especially now with the wedding season on and a lot of people are into saris lehengas Mm -hmm. so they have their uh, products displayed and uh, you know have uh, people to come in and take a look so basically they just create have their own boutique in our space uh we also have someone who is a home cook okay so she bas- yeah so she basically uses our space as her virtual office mm-hmm. and um so she's tied up with a lot of uh, delivery um, agencies and they have you know uh, the space to pick up their products and uh, the dishes at the uh, once the orders have been placed so this is just a rough idea on a few of them so we keep coming across different things we also have some uh, college students who come to our space <laughs> either to study during exams uh, we also have someone who comes in to do their regular projects because they're into um, uh, architecture mm-hmm. so they are a group of two three uh, teams who keep coming in regularly we also see some um, fashion design students uh, from NIFT who just drop by to finish their projects basically because uh, they find it difficult to work from home timings again you know you're ob- obviously obliged when you're heading to someone's house and all of that okay so is this the only female co-working space in India yes uh, it is um, uh, well, we've been uh, featured uh, by... How does that make you feel then? Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely is something we're very happy yeah. and uh, proud about. Yeah. And But more than that, I think it's the thought and idea where we're actually helping women, um, you know, um, take themselves to like uh, a next level uh, where they decide and take that call of, you know, not working from home or mm-hmm. not uh, deciding to uh, let go of what they want to do. Mm-hmm. So it's it's nice to see when, when we see women who come to our space. And we also have a lot of uh, people who come out to get some consultings uh, done as well, mm-hmm. where, you know, they've taken a break. They're wondering how, what can be done, what's the current trend in the market. So we make sure that, you know, we have these small programs regularly at our space where we uh, nurture and help and guide women basically on what they could ideally do uh, at whichever point they are mm-hmm. in their careers. Okay, so is this the only co-working, this is the only female co-working space in the world then? Uh, no, definitely not. Okay. Uh, there are, um, I think there are a few um, in uh, US that I know of and uh, of course uh, this is something that anyone could choose to create and do but um, I think for us here in India it's the first and um, also something that we've seen is that you know every city every um, area has its own focus points and so we've understood that you know um, each city has its own uh, pluses and minuses and we make sure that the, the, the center here in Chennai is something where it's a little traditional so we look at right from educating the women to um, guiding them and molding them to the next step but we're looking at to expand to other cities like Mumbai, Bangalore Mm -hmm. Uh, these are two cities primarily uh, that we're looking at to uh, expand to Mm -hmm. so this the city and the trend there is it's it's a very different uh, space altogether so therefore the approach in those cities would be a little different from how we're currently running the uh, you know, a program and schedule here in Chennai. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So obviously, you have a digital marketing background. Um, so yes, h- how are you attracting customers? Then uh, must be easy, right? Uh, 
<laughs> definitely social media has its strength and we're completely leveraging it uh, we've been doing all our promotions through um, digital marketing and uh, that's something that we've seen a very good traction with mm-hmm. because today uh, people from any age group uh, everyone's on facebook and mm-hmm. they very well uh, take a look at whatever you're posting out so mm-hmm. therefore we tell you know and also um, another point that i would love to make is um, we've been covered by a lot of uh, uh, newspapers mm-hmm. magazines for our concept and what we're trying to do so i think that is another key thing that has helped us spread the word mm-hmm. uh, because i think uh, nothing like being uh, you know having your quote or having an article out on a paper or being featured mm. like even here today i'm very happy to be part of this and i'm really uh, you know looking forward to know what people think and what they have in mind when they listen to me today mm-hmm. how, how do you get press then uh, obviously we have a lot of startups who probably need press um, you know what what are the best approaches any tips um any trips best approaches well i would say that you know when you're looking at to start something on your own don't think twice believe in what you actually want to do mm-hmm. give it a try but set a deadline mm-hmm. don't really spend endless years waiting for things to roll for you mm-hmm. sometimes some ideas do work some don't mm-hmm. but you need to be positive and you need to be sure of what you actually want mm-hmm. um another very key thing is it's okay to take help uh, i think that's a point that i've i've seen a lot of women um, hesitate to mm-hmm. uh, they always look out for help and support within family and friends mm-hmm. but sometimes uh, you also meet someone mm-hmm. who has a similar wavelength uh, for me i think it's Mandana who I met at my workplace and we connected so well that today we are here you know we've created this amazing company who's who's doing so well mm-hmm. for women and for other uh, people mm-hmm. so therefore we I just want to make sure that you know uh, you don't uh, find or you know take anything as um, uncertainty and go ahead with what you actually want to do and not wait for others to tell you if what you're doing is right or wrong just take that step and uh, be sure when whatever comes back to you mm-hmm. take it positively do, do, having said that do you think anyone can be an entrepreneur then yes definitely a, a person is always filled with multiple ideas is uh, does has a lot of passion and a lot of talent but it's just up to them how they want to channelize it uh you could be great at work or you could you know find have some problem for which you found in uh, like you know ideal solution and then decide to show it to the world and become an entrepreneur so it's it's just about and today uh you can be an entrepreneur at any age uh that's something that uh, i learned from one of uh the ladies uh, like i mentioned who's a home cook mm-hmm. she's in her uh 55 plus mm-hmm. but she's doing this because she loves she's very passionate about working and she's retired from work and she's like I cannot sit at home I don't know what to do and I'm good at this mm-hmm. so why not so she therefore decided to you know uh, be a, uh, be an entrepreneur and supply food to uh, various people in the city mm-hmm. so it's just about how you uh, want to take your dream and passion and make it to reality or choose to be good at what you're doing at work or anywhere okay cool how do you sum up your entrepreneurial journey so far i mean obviously it's quite short you know it started in march last year um how would you sum it up or how would you reflect on, on how it's gone so far um the journey has been it's been challenging i must say uh, a different it's a mixed reaction like i mentioned earlier that the city didn't really understand what we were actually putting forth uh, but the minute they did and uh, now to where we stand we seeing that uh, we've made a difference um, to a few of the people and few minds but we definitely have a long way to go Well, last few questions then. Um, uh, do you have any heroes? Any people you admire, or any anyone you look up to? Um, admire, look up to. Well, my mother, mm-hmm. my mom. I think she is my biggest strength. Uh, 
she is uh, an entrepreneur herself and she's worked for a number of years well she started working while she was 40 and you know it it was awesome to see her take that jump so today when i tell her that you know hey i'm i'm planning to do something like this or who should I, what do you think is like just go for it and you know i'm sure you will get be successful because you are pa- passionate about what you want and you're trying to make a difference to somebody somewhere and i'm sure that you know when they hear or know about it mm-hmm. they're going to connect with you for sure mm-hmm. so therefore my mother mm-hmm. uh, last question then uh, if people want more information yeah. on w square uh, what must they do yes uh, visit our website uh, that is www.wsquare.work mm-hmm. or they could also send an email out to me at genal j i n a l at the rate wsquare.work Brilliant. Junelle, thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks to Janelle for coming on the show today. Uh, that's the end of the show. If you liked it, please leave a rating review of the show. Just search for the Indian Startup Show on iTunes. Search on Overcast, we also on Pocket Cast, Downcast, Instacast, Pocket Cat on Apple TV. If you're building something exciting, please send me an email, hello at neilpatel.co, or tweet at Indian Startup Message. Go to facebook.com forward slash Indian Startup Show. We'd love to connect. Uh, if you're interested in creating your own podcast in 2018, uh, check out my class on Skillshare. Uh, it's called Getting Your Podcast Off The Ground. I've been teaching this for over 15 months now, and it's had 50, 500 students. It's got great testimonials as well. So check out the link in the show notes to get started. The advantages of doing your own podcast are you build something amazing that's you, that you own 100%. You have 100% creative control. You can do whatever you want, and it's a lot of fun. So check out the link in the show notes, and uh, you can do your own podcast. Thank you, and goodbye.